to let yourself be open to other people and other ideas and don't be put off by your preconceptions of what something's going to be. Okay, so we found the boxing gym. It was, uh, we've been given a shortcut, so we're kind of in the, I think we're at the back entrance right now. Junior class is still going on. This is my first real time. I'm gonna count this as my first ever time at a proper boxing place. So what we're gonna do today, we're just gonna see where I'm at. Now, look, I know I'm not gonna be great at this. This is boxing, I've never really practiced it as a singularity. But I know I'm not gonna be terrible, and I know that I'm excited to do this, but I'm also very nervous. So don't ever think that when I try these new things and come to these new places, these are people I've never met before, people I've never seen before. I get nervous, I get butterflies, and that's a good thing. Like, it shows you give a shit. We'll see what happens, we'll see what we look like, and any error points, and, and we'll see, you know, how they correct me, what they're gonna correct me on, what he thinks, where we're at, and then uh, go from there, so. I'll wait for this class to finish and then get involved. <laughs> right, I actually have zero reason to really be nervous because if you look through there, you can see all the junior class going on. This is a girl in there chilling out. She's like, she's probably looking at me like, could take him. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, a raw look at this first experience in a boxing camp slash training environment. And here there's a big focus, what I learned on calves, legs and feet because that is a huge part of boxing and something that you need to build up. Skipping is a great variation of doing this and we did three minutes of skipping, then into body weight exercises from burpees, these um, jumping heel kicks, press ups, a lot of body weight things, just making the lungs work, making it consistent, working all different muscle groups. And then at the end of it, back to that skipping again. So this killed me before we even began the real class, just the warm up alone was great. But, you know, you get through it, little bits of frustration along the way, as in I'm not proficient at skipping, so catching my feet and things, you can see me getting frustrated sometimes, but that is all part and parcel of learning. You're not going to be perfect, but you've got to crack on. So as you would expect, there was a number of drills and this started again, looking at that footwork, such a huge part of boxing. So this was a really great one for working, especially with those tired calves and feet. So this was a footwork drill where you just kept on your toes and you had to be reactive to your partner moving at you or away. So you either chased them down or got out the way and it was all about having a dominant foot position and keeping your feet in the correct place to be able to strike or get out of the way. Calves are burning, soles of my feet are burning, everything's burning. That's a good thing now, Jay. Yeah. Good thing. Is <laughs> that <Flat> my bangs? <laughs> <laughs> So previous footwork was on uh, keeping that range and moving around. Then what they start doing is they started working on how to move laterally and then in and out. And again, this is focused on what you're gonna be doing later in the class. So this was really good for me to, to see that development from teaching into practice. It's incredible how some different positions in your feet can allow you to move in such flow in different directions. And it's uh, creating that mind to muscle and that mechanism, which obviously we're not gonna have when we first start, but these drills and these that you can practice at home when you're on your own as well against the bag are perfect. Find an old t-shirt in your bag. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Come in there, uh, exhibition. It's not plastic. I'm gonna look at some parries. Parries. Parries? Not mis mistaken with parries, which is a drinking water. <laughs> so focus from the feet back up to the head, and this is one reacting to parrying and getting used to creating that mechanism to fire once you've been fired upon. Some of the two now. One, two. Yeah. One, two, straight. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different and you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Oh my, 10 minutes in Soaking So I was just working on slipping distance Let me show when you parried or blocked, you come straight back. That's a trick in there. They say, if you get hit, throw back, get hit, throw back. Train those mechanisms, I don't have those mechanisms yet. Still, I'm like this at the moment. 
<laughs> one of the great things I did notice throughout this class was the patience of the instructors and other people taking the class with one another. There's that real team mentality of wanting to help each other succeed, so don't be afraid about asking questions or slowing things down. <laughs> What's the problem? What's my bubble? What's your bubble mean? Return of I broke it. Oh no. Oh, game over. Should have had leanings on me. So after numerous rounds of mitt work and things like that, it went on to circuits, which involved two rounds of light sparring. This is the first time I've done sparring in, well, I can't even remember the last time other than just messing around. So I was very, very lucky here that the guys were good. They were giving me some digs when I was doing things wrong and letting me know. But you can see here, people are pulling power. You can see I'm pouring a little bit, which means I'm, you know, I'm leaving that hand hanging a little bit because I'm not used to sparring. I'm not used to pulling the power. So it's a little bit difficult for me to hold back, but still keep speed on my punches. So that's a lack of skill set on my behalf that obviously I'm hoping to develop with getting some more sparring time under my belt and also just the consistency of being in this style of training. Make sure all my energy going. Dying. Whenever you're going to add sparring in, it's going to sap you because you get that kind of adrenaline dump going on here. But midway through this round, you'll see the coaches come in. He tells me about the guard, about how to sit it a little higher up, look through my gloves rather than over them, and immediately it improves the way I'm able to act defensively and offensively. And this is the great thing I love about it. You put against people you wouldn't normally be against if you're just doing it in the same environment all the time with the same people. So you're learning and improving on the spot. <laughs> Coming away from that strong sound that he's on you. And you're putting him on your strong sound. You step in there, you step into it. South boss. Big tall south boss. Bad times, bad times. <laughs> what he said then was whether you're in the south boss, right south boss. Is it your left foot on that outside of their right foot? Keep away, keep away from that strong side. Come out of range, you step into range, you throw your shot, nice and straight, you're looking through, you're coming out of range. It's all about that. Back and forth. Yeah? So part of the circuits, these were three minute rounds, was bag work, and obviously we're implementing what we've just learned with footwork, body work, and through the sparring. This one's about moving in and out, into the bag, bubble, get back out again, keeping it straight down the line, which I'm really bad at. That's just a habit from my past training, being really open with MMA, until we're wrestling, so I'm very wide, I need to know straight line. <laughs> So yeah, even the cool down was a workout in itself, focusing a lot on abs, core strength and stabilization. So all really great stuff and was actually led by a guy who there was boxing, also did yoga and Pilates. So fantastic tutorial as we went along. And a lot of this is focused on reducing that pelvic tilt as well, which is a great benefit and that abdominal extension, which can cause the pelvic tilt. So a lot of great core work went on throughout this and then a big stretching routine at the end. One thing we're all guilty of is not doing enough of this. And I urge you guys to start looking into 
to Pilates and yoga style um, finishes for your workouts or just to get them into your routine each week. Check out the previous video I did on a Pilates session. There's a full routine for you to go through there. Just check the previous videos or just check on the channel. Just search Pilates on the channel and it will pop up because these are fantastic for your core strength, stability and connecting mind to muscle throughout the entire body. Most of us have some really weak areas we don't even know about until we start implementing something a little different like this. <laughs> That's it, yeah. That's it, those good push there. Really good core. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we should just stop. Okay, we should 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 stop. First boxing class, you can see. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit intimidating coming in. You know, you see lads who are kind of, you know, here, they're in the zone, they're ready to train, which is fair enough, so don't be put off by that. Everyone who I went up against was aware of my level and where I was at and I was here, and they were indicating me I was doing something wrong, letting me know, instructing me, helping me, changing what I needed to do, and uh, overall really welcoming, especially the trainers. The trainers are really good, just working with your level, and so don't be afraid of that. All levels are always welcome at places like this. They're always looking for new people to come in and uh, you know, just let yourself be open to other people and other ideas and don't be put off by your preconceptions of what something's going to be. Comment now in the section what you'd like us to see. If you'd like to see some certain drills, if you'd like to see answers to certain questions, uh, maybe you watch boxing matches, seen a guy move a certain way and you want to know how that is or drills that you should be doing, basic drills you want to be doing and things like that and we'll try and get it covered. Another episode of Undisputed in the fucking books. We're rolling out with you. Fucking yeah. rolling, fucking yeah. rolling. So thanks all for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscription bell. Notifications, turn them on because YouTube won't do it for you. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Boom, baby. I haven't even had a chance to change into my, my pretty new boots. Damn it. Lately I've been doing shit different. Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen. Had to make a move. Had to make a little distance A lot of people tripping They could never see the vision Fuck that, tell them bounce